it's Penny here and today I'm going to be talking about the 10 books on my TBR that I am the most excited for. Now this isn't going to include any books that aren't released yet and it's probably going to change as soon as I film this video because what I'm excited about in the moment changes depending on my mood. But we're going to lock in this list and I have also filmed another video about the top 10 highest rated on my TBR and then once I have read all of these books we're going to compare whether the average rating was a better predictor of which books I enjoyed or whether my picks were a better prediction. Basically this is a test of whether I actually know my reading tastes. So at number 10 we have The Power by Naomi Alderman. This book is set in a world where everything is pretty much as it currently is or as it currently was in 2016 when this book was released because the world has changed a lot since then. But regardless, kind of set in contemporary times except that teenage girls have now gained the ability to cause people immense pain and even potentially kill them and that is changing the balance of power. That sounds like a really interesting concept so I'm really excited to read this book. I've also seen a lot of people say good things about it so fingers crossed. Then at number nine we have The Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin. This is the story about a group of siblings who have the day of their death prophesized for them by this traveling psychic and I believe it just looks at how that prediction of how early they're gonna die impacts the way that they live their lives and whether the way that they then live their lives impacted the day of their death. This is one that I have seen mixed opinions on but personally I'm just excited about the concept so I want to read it. Then at number eight we have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This is a story about this boy who finds a book with his own story in it and then that leads him into all sorts of strangeness. I read The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern and I did really enjoy it so I'm hoping that I'll like The Starless Sea as well. Again this is one where I have seen mixed reviews of it but I think it's just because it's so strange. Personally I really like strange stuff and I think Erin Morgenstern's writing is very beautiful so I'm hoping that I will enjoy it. Then at number seven we have If Cats Disappeared from the World by Kawamura Genki. This is a Japanese novel about this man who is going to die but then he makes a deal with the devil that he can gain an extra day as long as every day that he gains he chooses one thing to disappear from the world. Again this sounds like a really interesting concept but as well I think I've enjoyed every single Japanese translated work that I've read so I think that's a good sign for this one. Then at number six we have The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. This is the third book in the Broken Earth trilogy. I've actually got this on my TV for this month. I'm super excited to see how the trilogy is going to wrap up. Of the first two books on the series I did like the first one better so I'm somewhat tentative going into this but there are just some really cool things in this world and I really care about the characters so I want to see how everything's going to end. This is set in this world where there's like constant apocalypses, earthquakes all the time and it's changed the way society works quite a lot. There's also these people who have the power to control the earth and to sense the earth but these people are feared and often treated really badly. Um, they're put in a special school where they're expected to serve the people. They're practically enslaved and in the first book we're following three different characters who all have this power but they're experiencing it in different ways. Some really horrible things happen in the first one and I'm fairly certain some horrible things will happen in this one too. Then at number five I have the first volume of Blackbird by Sam Humphreys and Jen Bartel. So Jen Bartel is the illustrator for this graphic novel series and I have followed her art for quite a while. She just uses beautiful colors and she has quite a clean drawing style that I really enjoy. I have also seen some people really loving this graphic novel series so that's another good sign. I don't really know much about it other then there's a girl who discovers that there is magic in the world. But it really doesn't matter what the story is about because even if I don't enjoy the story I'm sure it will still be pretty to look at. Then at number four we have the first novella in the Murderbot Diaries so that is All Systems Red by Martha Wells. So this series is all about this artificial intelligence robot that has hacked their system so that they can just watch TV all the time. Uh, unfortunately they do sometimes still have to help the humans out with the different expeditions that the humans take it on in order to help them out with physical power and security. I did once read the first chapter or two and then I had to return it to the library and I really enjoyed those first chapters so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this. 
Again, it's a really popular series, so I'm pretty confident about this one. Then at number three, we have The Dragon Keeper by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in the Brain Wild Chronicles, which is the fourth series in the larger realm of the Eldlings. I've been working my way through it. I just want to read this short story anthology that kind of goes in between-ish. I mean, it was published about then. So I'm going to read this first, and then I'm going to continue on with the Rain Wild Chronicles. As you can probably guess from the title, it has dragons in it. Basically, in the earlier Live Ship Traders series, some things happened with some dragons, and now there are a bunch of baby dragons, I assume, that people need to help look after. I have just loved every book in this series so far, so I can't see why I wouldn't love this one too. Then at number two we have The Nemesis by S.J. Kincaid. This is the third book in the Diabolic series, which is a series I really love and I can't wait for this final book and for the series to wrap up. We're basically following this genetically engineered bodyguard. In the first book she had to take the place of the girl that she protects and go to the capital where things got crazy. Uh, it's set in this world where they have all sorts of technology, they're all living in space, but They've banned people from like studying and reading and so nobody really knows how a lot of the technology works and things are starting to break down. In the second book there was slight time travel, sort of, and things went in a very unexpected direction so I'm so excited for this final book. And then number one is also on my TBR for this month because of course I'm going to be getting to these books that I'm excited about sooner rather than later. Uh, and that is the second volume of Ascender by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen. So this is a series that follows on from the Descender graphic novel series. In Descender we basically had a war between humans and robots. In this one we follow some of the same characters in the fallout from that war. Uh, as well as robots and AI and humans humans in space. We've also got a bit of magic going on now and I just really love this series so I'm sure I'm gonna love this. So those are all the books that I'm hoping to read hopefully sooner rather than later and then once I have read all of these and also read the top 10 highest rated I will check back in and we'll see whether I was excited about the right books or not. Do let me know if you have read any of the books on this list because I would love to talk with you more about them down in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you next time. Bye.